The egg represents new life. And just about all my life, I've been, in one form or another, I have been working on eggs. I'm Lori Popow, and I'm an egg artist. Some years ago, I had a neighbor, and his wife, Vera, had died, and he came across her grandmother's egg. I wanted to know a little bit more about this egg because it was crude. When her grandmother came to America in 1922, she came with this egg. We all start from an egg. I do different eggs than just the Pisanki eggs. I also do filigree eggs. I've done decoupage, etching, jewelry with my Pisanki artwork. This is a kaleidoscope. You look in here, turn it, and you can see. In the 80s, my first video that came out. Welcome to the world of Pisanki, or Ukrainian decorated eggs. Meet Lori, Pizanki artist, and your teacher for this video. The process of making Pizanki may look complicated and difficult, but it's really not. As a matter of fact, it can be done very easy, as Lori will show you. <laughs> well, not that easy. Before the internet, I taught many students in my house here. Now, people all over the world that are interested, all they do is type in my name on the internet and they find me that way. Hi, Lori Popow here. Today we're going to work on a new project. Today I'm going to show you how to create a basic Ukrainian Easter egg. This art form goes back hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. There's something in creating the eggs. When I get that kiska in my hand, and I start applying hot wax to that egg. I'm creating and, and I'm building and it's just a wonderful feeling. The Arkansas Egg Society years ago, they asked if I could donate an egg and come to the White House. People always look at my work and they go, oh, I could never do that. No, you can't do all that you see there. But you can start with one line at a time, and it'll start to flow. And then you'll start creating and, and building and, and be hooked. I grew up in Chicago. I was about eight years old, and it was 1956. I was sent on an errand to a drugstore to pick up makeup for my mother. On the way, I had to pass a Ukrainian gift store. At the store, a lady was sitting there working on eggs. Now, this is something that I have wanted to do for a long time. And I'm watching her, there she is, with an egg in her hand and some tool, and she's working on the eggs that I want to learn how to do. Okay, so now I go home with this desire that I am going to make those eggs and I will teach myself how to do this. Okay. Nice hot water. We have to wait for the uh, for it to cool off. After it's cool, then we can use it. Now where time has passed, where I have st I'm still working year after year, trying to figure this out, still I didn't have a tool. Now by this time, I was married. He made me my first tool out of a coat hanger, and he made a funnel where I would put the wax into the funnel. So with the coat hanger wrapped around this, this uh, funnel he made, I made my first 
eggs. Really, truly, Pisanki eggs. I've been a caretaker most of my life. I needed little breaks. So working on my eggs was how I took my breaks. I could get away from my daily life. I could see all the beauty and not all the sickness and all the other things that were going on. This was my safe place. I don't know, I, I honestly think in 1956, I was supposed to see that woman in the window. I was supposed to make that promise that I was going to learn to do those eggs. And I really honestly think that I was meant to learn to do these eggs so I had some place to go and something to do to take me away from, from the daily life that, that I was living, being a caregiver. As the wax gets hot, it gets a shiny look to it, a wet look. the egg off a little bit. For some people, the designs have lots of meanings to them. I don't do that. I, I just, I just work. You know, I just love the shape of the eggs. The eggs are symbols of rebirth and I had no idea that I would be at this point in my life, still doing the eggs. You know, it just, it's, the eggs have been rewarding in many ways. 